Okie dokie, I have dropped a bunch of crap. I decided to drop some of these traps because I don't have the booby trap skill anyway. Um, and I think I'm going to be getting Identify next. So I don't think it's worth picking them up. They're pretty heavy. So that's... Uh, new heavy chain boots. 70 armor, 22 to magic. Nope. I have to just be really picky about what I pick up. Resistance of fire. Oh, mine are better. I keep finding hats, which I do need a replacement, but they're all requiring strength. Whoa. Spears. And daggers. Dagger of reflexes. Charm quality. I'm going to take this. Let's see. Tw 7 to 23, 4 constitution, 25 magic. I think I'm gonna actually trade this out. Um, Cause it has charm quality. I think pos. What level am I? I'm 14. Uh, no, it requires agility 15. So I don't know exactly like how good this is compared to what level I am, but I think it might be better, like a better quality. And then maybe I can use like one of these medium vitality bonus, strength bonus, mana bonus, dexterity bonus. And at some point I'm probably going to get that assassin's kiss ability, but I do have the general plan um, in my brain that I'm going to do, I'm going to up my summon skills and I'm going to get more identify. Those are my plans as of right now that I have. So yeah, let's go in here. A blue flask. I can't use that. I can't use that, apparently. There's a shield that I cannot use. I think I maybe should get a little bit more strength so I can use items more, but I don't know. Strawberry pie. Sounds delicious. An easy chair. True stories, part one, written by Orden the Swindler. How long is this? Okay, it's not that bad. A large brute of a man whose skin shimmered like hard and polished obsidian owned a small shop in the village. I was still but a young boy and full of thoughts of adventure when I visited his store. On one of the shelves there lay a shining golden necklace of great beauty. I coveted the item not for its beauty, but for the profit it would fetch at the merchant's square. One day made my desire for the necklace overcame my sense, and I stole the necklace. To my dismay, the black-skinned man saw my crime and stormed toward me like an angry titan. With not a minute to spare, I took my sling and let fly a sharp rock. It hit the owner right between the eyes and he fell down dead on the floor. With a look of great surprise on his face, I later heard that he was buried in a small garden behind the shop. Okay. <laughs> Interesting story. Easy chair. Uh, chest. And a quarter staff, which I don't need. I don't need a decorative jug either. Um, okay, I'm not getting anywhere here with my exploring. A glass of wine. Take it. Ah, uh, let's have a glass of wine. Where is it? Everything's so tiny. Where is it? How much of these way? 27. It might be worth dropping those two. Um, what happened? I don't need these plates. Get rid of the plates. Where is it? What? Is it a potion? Am I just blind? Probably. Should be a miscellaneous, you'd think. I have 42 pounds of eggs. Wait. Oh, it's spider mines. Interesting. I wonder... Okay, well, these will be the next things I drop. I, I feel like I really should have the booby trap skill. Okay, I'm... I'm gonna give up. I mean, it can't be heavier than this dwarven ale, which is only three, so... I'm just gonna give up on that. I wanted a glass of wine, but no, I guess the game doesn't want me to have one. 
Okay. Cheese, mug of water, bread, chest. Yes, please. Take it. Stone bottle, stone bottle. Bookshelves. The Meaning and the Absurdity of Magical Modifications and Transformations, written by Torben Yellowfingers. Sometimes it's hard to believe the monstrous abominations that some magicians are capable of producing in the name of magical research. It's no wonder that some of my colleagues regularly express the opinion, not everything that's possible should be done. But where does the miracle end and the blasphemy begin? Good question. It's so true as well. Crazy wizards. Bottle of milk. Chest. Ooh, a crossbow. And some of those, and some other stuff I can't wear. And a punch spear. Nope. Alright, so I didn't really find anything spectacular. And I think I've explored every room. So, apparently... That's the only way down. Oh, there might be some. Oh, there's outside built. Okay. I need to go outside. And I haven't found Layla yet either. Hopefully. Hopefully she has something interesting to say. Hello, guards. There's a well there. Can I just climb down the well? Ours. I'm overloaded. Whoa, I'll have to are, drop something. Those are heavy flowers. Get rid of them. We're just gonna take one. Never know. Wooden door. Okay, let's go in this place first. Oh, Lady Anastasia. Who are you? What are you doing here, peasant? I'm sorry to intrude, my lady. I am the new Lord Protector to Duke Janus. Lord Protector, indeed. A ridiculous title that only my ungrateful son could have devised. Son? Are you Lady Anastasia, mother to Duke Janus and widow of the late Duke? Forgive me, my lady. I did not recognize you. Well, it's hardly surprising. You sh Why should the mother of the duke be wandering the dreadful outer precincts of Strumpus Castle? Unless, of course, she had been exiled there by her ungrateful son. Exiled, my lady? My so-called son won't allow me anywhere near him. But at the same time, he won't allow me to go to my townhouse or the country estate. So I languish here in these dreadful, badly decorated apartments in the outer castle precincts. Forgive me if I'm asking an important, an impertinent question, my lady, but does Duke Janus seem, well, altogether normal to you? No, he does not. Power has changed him beyond recognition. I mean, he always was a headstrong boy. His father called him, uh, spoiled. But since Janus became Duke, it's almost as if he were a different person. He aged well beyond his years. Cold, cynical, even cruel. He's not the baby I once loved. What do you think has made him change? Power, plain and simple. That and the wicked people around him. The priest, Father Theophilus, grovels to him as if he were a young god, and that bitch, Lady Alona, reinforces the fantasy by calling him the Divine One, after some old prophecy or other. Where did these courtiers come from? Oh, Father Theophilus is just some god's bothered form from Verdistus, I believe. Lady Alona appears recently. But after my husband's death, in fact, nobody else knows anything about her. But I can see she's up to no good. You don't believe her, your son is the Divine One, Lady Anastasia? Well, of course I don't. The Divine One is supposed to be the Chosen of the Gods, if they exist. Janus is a cruel, spiteful boy who rejects his own mother's advice, banishes her to this gloomy, rat-infested pit, and even steals her maid of honor. Really, your ladyship? My sweet little Layla, barely sixteen, and he has already coaxed her into his bed, and I am not thirteen yet. I told him, your father was fourteen before he took a mistress. You should follow his example and exercise a little restraint. But he just laughed at me and barred me from the inner castle. The humiliation! I see my foolish questions have distressed you, your ladyship. Please forgive and excuse me. Wow, he's not even thirteen, huh? Oh, that's locked. It's locked. Chest. Thank you. So, that's pretty gross. Um... Meats. Ooh. I want it. I want it. I'm gonna try and get it. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna sneak. Um Nope, that's wrong. Oh I, I forgot I bound sneak. I should just Can you look the other way? Look over here.
No, what are you doing? No, what are you what what the crap are you doing? Click the cupboard. I'm overloaded. I'll have to drop something. Really? <sighs> uh 15. Okay, let's let's eat this meat because it's super heavy. And I'm gonna drop these eggs because they are way too much. Alright, we got a ruby amulet. So, oh, I want to know what's in there. There's probably something delicious. Let's save because we got some loot and talked to his mother, which is really creepy. Uh, Walt. Hail and well met, my lady. It's a pleasure to meet a new protector of young Duke Janice. Well met indeed, sir. You clearly know me, but I don't know you. Might I ask your name? I'm Walt. I used to be the head of the old Duke's bodyguard, but I've been forcibly retired by Duke Janus. That's why you have to waddle under, about under the ridiculous title of Lord Protector. You're my replacement. I never asked to be Janus's protector. I wish he'd given you the post. Walt, I dare say you'd be better at it than I am. A courteous answer, youngster. Thank ye, but I wouldn't touch that job with the pointy end of a halberd. Life was good under the old Duke, but that boy Janus is pure trouble. The old duke was always getting into fights and visiting young maidens in the eye of their weddings, if you know what I mean. But he was never cruel or sick in the head. Meaning the new duke is sick in the head and cruel. The boy is only 12 years old, yet he's tortured folk to death for petty crimes. And he's betting a girl only 4 or 5 years older than he is. It's not natural. All rulers are cruel in my experience. And what young lad past puberty wouldn't have a girlfriend if they could get their hands on one? I'm surprised he hasn't taken a dozen. You know, that's not what I mean. You must have seen it. That old Janus is too old for his years. He talks like a jaded lecher past, fo lecher past 40, not a stripping boy of 12. Uh, do you happen to know where Zandalor is? Zandalor, the old wizard. Yes, I know him. He visited the place often, many years ago. He came here yesterday, talked to Lady Alona, and then went to the cellars. I didn't see him later on. Anyway, I have to leave you no youngster. Uh, you'll probably have many tasks to fulfill for Duke Janus. Good luck. Okay. Oh, well, maybe I can sell you something. That's pretty good. Eight vitality. Well, it's only eight hit points, I guess. I would like to sell something like... That weighs something, but I have a... How about... Oh, maybe I need that, though. I have a feeling I might need that for some quest. weighs 20. Alright, fine. Yeah, that's fine. Goodbye. He's a nice guy. You can probably use it. What's on here? Ooh, actually a helmet I can use! Okay, I'm gonna save and steal this. Uh, no hard feelings, Walt. You know. There we go. Placement hats! Fabulous. No, what are you doing?! The pathing is so weird in this game. Okay. Chest contains nothing. Bookshelves. I've already seen herb soups. Don't need to see it again. Okay. No. It looks like there's a diary on there. I wish I could read it. There's a book on the floor. Okay. Interesting. I wonder if I can sleep. No. Can't sleep there. I wouldn't mind having a rest, passing time a little bit. Alright. Nope, come on. Go up here. Who's this? Theus. Ah, oh, my lord protector. What are you doing away from Duke Janus? Shouldn't you be protecting him? Hello, Theus. His divine divinity has sent me off on some Id idiotic errand. Tell me, does he annoy you as much as he annoys me? I have been trained as a servant to the House of Pharaoh since birth. Lord Protector, but even if I find Duke Janus rather uh, high-handed, shall we say, but he is very young, remember. Not too old for a spanking is what I keep thinking. <laughs> Perhaps. But you would be well advised to keep such opinions to yourself. In the short time he has been Duke, Lord Janus has put a number of people to death for the most petty of crimes against the law of his forefathers. He uses torture as his hand, method hand, his main method of execution. I have been forced to watch such several tragic, hero, su several such horrific deaths. Oh God! And I truly hope never to see another ever again. 
Hmm. Between you and me, in private, Theus, is Janus mad? No, he is cruel, vain, lustful, arrogant, decadent, and vindictive, but he is quite sane. Take the rumor he is spreading with the help of Lady Alona and Father Theophilus and others. The Janus is the divine one prophesied by the mage Reuben Farrell. It may sound like the delusion of a power-mad boy, but he's actually manipulating public sentiment with great skill. How do you mean? Listen, but tell nobody what I tell you. The dukedom is on the verge of collapse. I know because I have oversee because I have to oversee all the duke's administrative affairs. The orc tribes are massing to invade from the south. A vast army that only ha that only an alliance of humans, dwarves, and elves can hold back. But such an alliance is presently quite impossible. Excuse me. I, the elves and dwarves, hate each other, and neither race trusts the humans. And if that weren't enough, the state is rotten inside as well, and as well as out. The poor grow in number every day and are ruthlessly exploited by the rich merchants and nobles in Rivertown and Verdistitz. Crime is rampant on the streets, and crops are, f are failing. Trolls ravage the farmlands. I know a little of what you speak of, but uh, what that has to do with Janus claiming to be the Divine One? Quite simply this, my friend. If he can convince the elves and dwarves that he is the chosen of the gods, that will rally to the human flag. They will rally to the human flag as the divine one. He can order the merchants and nobles to trade fairly with the poor and help wipe out crime and pestilence. He could save the dukedom if he would but try. But he isn't trying to save the situation, is he, Theus? He just sits on his throne playing God. You're right, of course. But a divine one is now our only hope in these dark days. I will serve Janus and pray that our gods send him the wisdom to wield the power of the good, for the good of all. You're a good man, Theus. You deserve a better master. We both do, in fact. Farewell. Yes. Tis a shame. 